Let's get some bulls. We're going for our second try. I don't know, but I think he doesn't have any military, otherwise he would send help. I hope that he would send help at least. We are sending an axe thrower to the front line. Hey guys, welcome back to my gaming channel. In the previous episode we managed to kill the worm in chapter 9 called Tremors. And the next chapter that we are going to play today is chapter 10 called Fimbul Winter. We are going to pick the bear lady. We check that the difficulty is on extreme and without wasting any more time we are going to start the game. Imagine having a winter for several years. Oh. So we will be in the middle and we have Halvard on the right. I don't feel very safe. Aha. Okay, leave. I, I feel safe now. On our left flank, on our right. I don't want to say something bad about him. But he's not that good. So we're going to start with our scouting camp and check what is right next to us and look at that they have even Jutun frozen and they are undead right yes yes they are they do look like a lot doesn't say how many they are but they are a lot so we must not waste time we have to start getting territories First the bear, so she is going to get the aggro, because the bear, remember, regenerates HP while she is in a territory with fish, and of course she is producing food. So we are we are going to let her be here for a while, to regain some of her life. And go forward, for the forest. There's another forest right here. That's interesting. Let's go. First the wolf. Then the bear. Now we're clearing also the deer. It's better to have our bear take the damage. So they can return back to the fish area and replenish. We are slowly exploring the territories next to us. I'm not going to keep them for too long. We need more people back here in the village. So leave organize the feast, that's that's good. Just before the winter, we can colonize the deer. They will be able to attack us from this wolf den. That's not a very big problem. So they stayed in this winter. We have cleared every area right next to our town hall. We have colonized almost everything. Only this forest is empty. We are now building our hunter's lodge in the deer territory. And we are gathering resources for our next phase of expansion. 
have already gotten sharp axes and we are going to go for the weaponsmith and later the defensive strategy. As I suspected, from this wolf den came two wolves. They are no match for our Borgi. And now they are weakened as well. So maybe it is time that we paid them a visit. Here we are in the wolf den. We are helping in this way the clan of the raven. We are going to do the same for Harval, if it is possible. So that's it. We got all of them. Now we have to come back. Remember, in this episode, we have to basically survive the undead. Onslaught that is going to come to us by the end of the fourth year. So we go for the Draggers in the Fish territory. It's important to get this as it is a junction for our further expansion. If we manage to do it. Oh. Okay, the air is getting warmer. That's, for the first time, bad. I hope that they don't melt right now. Okay, so it looks like everything is where it is supposed to be. Nothing is moving. So we're fine for now. Let's get the fish. It's going to serve as our new base of operations. Let's get some wolves. We're not going to be able to colonize the wolf then. It's still going to spawn some wolves. But we are going to thin their numbers. This way. So it is worth it. I know that we are full in terms of people. But I'm waiting for our house. Well, the wood to build the house. We are going to clear the circle of stones to help Halvard move away from these territories because apparently he cannot. He is stuck right here in his corner. We just killed the wolf and there is already one. Circle of Stones is ready. We kill this wolf and get the wolf then as well. You see, he is already colonizing the area. We're going to do the same for this wolf then. Or at least lower the amount of wolves that there are here. We are a thing now. Doesn't look like they are too powerful. We're going to go back. We kill two of them, that's good. We're going for our second try. I don't know, but I think he doesn't have any military, otherwise he would send help. I hope that he would send help at least. There, now you can colonize. Really? How is that even possible? The moment we got out of the territory, a wolf spawned. Now you can colonize. Although it doesn't look like he wants to. Well, we gave him the ability. So now that we have a lot of wood, we don't need three woodcutters. He's going to become a villager in order to open his own brewery. We're also gathering some iron 
Well, all of the iron that we can, at least. And we're going to upgrade our tools and our uh, seal betters for sure. You also have to start getting some stone so that we don't fall behind. Let's get the wolves. Here is 77 stone. I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of it. But we can clear at least the zone. So now we're able to get the monster slayer. We're going to have some extra damage against mystical creatures. And all of the things that are frozen right now are mystical creatures. So we need it. After that, whatever lore we get, it's a bonus basically. Our clan is very happy. And we're going to get people really, really fast. This is really important. Oh no. They are coming. Not a lot of them, but they are coming. Of course we're not ready. It's a little bit too early if you ask me. But I think we can handle it. I hope. We are sending an axe thrower to the front line. So it looks like all is well, we're going to be able to defend this time. Oh, there are a lot of them coming. Our allies are getting slaughtered, that's for sure. We have to go help. Oh, they are coming. That's a lot of them coming. And the winter has passed. Actually, a miner should become an axe thrower. Maybe someone should start making some food because we are losing too much food. This should be upgraded, of course. It's the reason why we are getting all of this money and wood instead of food. And we are going to kite, I'm not going to bother. Oh, no, no. We should kite as well, my friend. And now, get them. Yeah, we don't have any food, but uh, we are able to defend this way. Hope that's the case for the next one as well. Someone is getting hit, you are getting hit. Yeah, their, their Yotun is dead. War Guild, we are not going to be our first chieftain that is going to die under our watch. Oh, one more is coming. That's... Well, that, that's kind of annoying. And it says that we don't have a food at all. Yeah, well, what about now? If everyone starts making food... Halvard is losing territory. Okay, he's going to defend, that's fine. We're still losing food. Okay, now we're getting some. Maybe we should get at least the fisherman's hat upgraded. The food situation is too precarious. Finally a feast! Halvard, you are useful! What is he doing? This is not time for attacking. 
We need also seed bearers. Or more axe throwers. Yeah, we need someone to tank the damage, so we need seed bearers. And then axe throwers. We already have two of the axe throwers. We'll add one more. At the end of this winter, the wall will melt and every single unit that is here is going to attack us. We have to make ready. Whoever is lucky enough to be armed by the end of this year is going to be able to help us in a more meaningful way defend. Of course, when the time comes, every everyone will be in this territory to fight. We have to push through this wall, so everyone has to chip in. Of course, our military units are not going to be enough on their own. So we're going to use our civilians as well. The axe thrower, the axe thrower, the woodcutter, is a little bit stronger than a villager in terms of attack. So yeah, okay. We will make them villagers right before, uh, not villagers. We will make them woodcutters right before the horde is upon us. What is he doing? He's going to lose the silver. That's what he's doing. Great. Let's prepare the woodcutters. I cannot afford another silk bearer. Maybe I can afford an axe thrower or a warrior. Well, we can afford. I can afford them. I can afford the warrior, but is it even going to make a difference? Maybe. Let's make him a warrior. Right before the winter ends. And so it begins. We're going to fight the big fight. Oh, the now that they're moving, they look more terrifying. Yeah, that's right. We will hold our ground or die trying. Woodcutters to the front, hunters as well. Everyone, healers, no, but you shall come. And the brewers, not the brewers, actually, they can stay. So everyone is in specific territory. We're going to fight to the end. Yeah, that's right. Get all of them. That's it. Can... We don't have enough food. Okay, maybe... Maybe someone should go there. <laughs> yeah, we have minus 51. Maybe I, I overcome I overdid it. Come on, hold the line. Is it done? We got all of them? We did. We got all of them. Alright, everyone back to work. It does look like we got all of them. Good job! Am I celebrating too early? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Well, we are starving. So at least someone has to go back to work. Where are they? 
Ah, there they are. You have to go and help them. You can actually start making me some food. You are getting sick. Because we overdid it. That's a lot. Let's make it a little bit difficult for them. Come on! You are the Vikings of Rig and Borgi. Can't do this. Doesn't look like uh, anyone is coming from our mid lane. We have minus 30 happiness. It's, uh, that's, that's not a problem, okay? That's not a problem. Although we are losing some people due to sickness. Oh, <laughs> everyone is sick. <laughs> people are dying. Okay, you should become. Oh, yeah. We got all of them? Yeah, we did. You mean gather food because that's our main problem, not the wounded. Oh. I think it's going to be colder because we're going further up north. We must stop this map now. All right, we did it. Where's my achievement? Excuse me? Ah, oh, okay, that's right. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. That was chapter 10. If you, if you like this video, consider hitting that like button and writing a comment down below. And of course, I hope that I'm going to see you on the next one. That is going to be the last chapter of Rig Saga. And after that, we are going to continue with the new campaign that was released just a few weeks ago. So again, thank you very much for watching and I hope that I will see you on the next one. Have a nice night.